You sense one of your pals, Hoodle? Feels like I'm melting. Calaglia was pretty hot, but at least the air there was dry. Out here, it feels like I'm trying to walk through thick soup. I can hardly breathe, it's so stuffy. And don't get me started on the insects. You hanging in there, Hoodle? <laughs> it's brutal, all right. I can feel my energy being drained away just by walking. All this vegetation makes it hard to keep an eye out. Keep your wits about you, everyone. And watch you don't keel over while you're at it. What's needed at times like these is a relaxing hot spring. That would soon help us adjust. And where do you expect us to find one of those? What about you, Alfin? All that gear, and you hardly seem to be breaking a sweat. Yeah, I guess when you've lived a life devoid of pain for as long as I have, even feeling hot and bothered could be a welcome change. Well, lucky you, I guess. Just don't expect us to carry you when you pass out. Don't mess around. What's this thing? Is that the Zugal we're looking for? Improvement. Man, this place is thick with foliage. I know. 
It feels like we're going to be swallowed up by all these plants if we stay in here. Indeed. I much prefer the forests in Menencia myself. Not that I don't agree, but maybe now's not the best time for Elder Menencia Pride. Everyone still in one piece? Yep. I barely worked up a sweat. My body seems to be doing okay. Looks perfect. Guaranteed to hit the spot. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? You're still awake? I've always been something of a night owl. Ever since back when I was someone's property. Turning in for the night only made the next day come quicker. I wasn't in any great rush. Ah, uh, sorry. What about yourself? Care to share something from before I knew you? You were part of a mage clan, right? Must have been handy being able to rely on magic for everything. Hardly. In fact, not at all. Magic's not so special when you're not allowed to use it. Always scared of who might be watching? Right. Sorry about that. I guess I've read too many fairy tales. We were still made to study it every day. It doesn't make any sense if you think about it, studying the very thing you're being persecuted for. But that's what we did, just like our parents and their parents before them. Honestly, I don't even know how far back it goes. The memory serves. Mages have been the stuff of legend for ages. Even as far back as three centuries ago, they were myths. Your people were persecuted even before the Renans got here. Yeah, the more I think about it, the less it makes sense, though. I mean, it was astral arts that let the Renans dominate Dana, right? Why didn't mages end up being the rulers of Dana then? Maybe they tried, but they just didn't have the numbers. Or maybe domination just wasn't something they were interested in. Have you ever considered it might have been something like that? I guess I haven't. 
I wonder why magic alone attracted the attention it did. Swords can be just as lethal in the right hands. Why not ban them? My best guess? Swordsmanship can be learned by anyone. Magic's more of an exclusive club. So, you either have the gift or you don't. When something's not easily obtainable, it's hard to comprehend. People are scared of what they don't understand. And fear leads to persecution. So the problem's not magic. It could just as easily have been anything. Yeah. Night, everyone! Another day, another gold. Don't get careless. Is that the Zoogle we were told to dispatch? Go no further! Dragon Shell! Oh. <laughs> Deity! May I have you? Here you are! Dragon Shell! Go see now! I can feel you where you stand! Can you take it? Evil Dragon Shell! Tornado Drive! Tornado Drive! Look Divine Strength! Look Raise shot! Raging Lunar Storm! Lunar Storm! Everyone hanging in there? Hi, Hoodle. Beckon into everlasting but they're far enough! Of regeneration. Armor won't save you! That's better! Eat this! Regenerate! Look shot! Tiger play! I can do this all day! Oh, too shy to come over? Here, I my really know. Know. Who's next? Wind after energy! Take this! First Here's strike! Watch roll. this! Raging Captain! Falling storm! It's on! Tiger play! Elusive deity come to an end! That's better! Not today! I'm ready for this! Elusive deity! Crumble! Rotating pile driver! Savage roar! This one will finish you here and now! Glimmer dragon! Is there Radiant no way light. out? Regeneration! Thunderblade! Regenerate! I owe you one for that! Glimmer dragon! I'll finish Appreciate you here Far enough! Raging storm! Eagle that armor won't save you! May a thousand times be ready! Do it! Do it! Swallow dance! Take this! Water snake wait! Ugly as hurt! Dragon with the earth! Not today! Crumble! Stalagmite! Looks like we got them all. There's the Zoogle we were asked to handle.
Don't get careless. What's up? Once we get to the mountain, the terrain won't be easy. We should rest up here before pressing on. But what about Xion? She's waiting for us. All the more reason to conserve our energy. Huh? It's not only the mountain. Hard though that may be, it's a pittance compared to what follows. Namely, Volron. We wear ourselves out now, or worse still, get injured. We might as well show up gift-wrapped. Right, Kisara? That's right. Besides, Alfin still hasn't fully recuperated yet. I'm fine. Don't stop on my account. Oh, really? Well, in that case, it's me who wants to take a rest for a while. Does that suit you better? <laughs> a little bit. So, Alfin, 300 years, huh? Care to share the secret to such a long and healthy life? I wish I knew. Once I left Lenigus, the next thing I remember is waking up in Calaglia. Everything in between is a blank. You mean, there are still gaps in your memory? I've heard of starships with devices that can stave off imminent death by putting their passenger into a deep sleep. They're usually only intended as a temporary solution until proper treatment for an ailment or injury can be obtained. You think he might have been asleep in that starship for 300 years? But why? What would be the point? Might this Naori have had a hand in it? What do you mean? If she's Renan like you say she is, she would have understood how to operate the starship better than yourself. <laughs> You're saying she deliberately put me to sleep for 300 years? Dohalim, that's a bit of a leap. Forgive me. I spoke out of turn. I'm merely thinking aloud, that's all. Shion and the Maiden Naori. After 300 years, it's not unreasonable to suspect they may be related. Shion is nearly the perfect image of her, yes? She also just so happens to be connected to you. Is it merely a coincidence? <laughs> like I've told you a million times already, I wouldn't know. Well, if you're absolutely certain that it couldn't have been Naori... Then I guess I must have been mistaken. Complicated machinery can sometimes break down or have failures. Sorry for being presumptuous. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Alfin, you said the mask was to placate you, right? To keep your guilt and rage in check? And you were wearing it the whole time you were asleep, right? I guess I must have been. So that's 300 years you were wearing it. It's just a hunch, but do you think that the mask might be... The reason he lost all his memories? All but a select few strong ones, so deeply ingrained in his psyche that he saw them in the form of dreams. It's not completely out of the question. In which case, maybe it was the mask numbing his sense of pain, too. It's certainly possible. As for how, I wouldn't know, but the dampening effect on his psyche could have manifested itself physically as well. I'm sorry for snapping at you back there. It's thanks to you that I feel like I'm... No, that we're finally getting somewhere with all this. No apologies necessary. Reading others' feelings has never been my strong suit. So he finally admits it. I really hope Xion's okay. I get why you're concerned. But if you don't rest when you can, you're going to regret it. She's right. We need our rest to conserve our strength. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, you two. No problem. We'll save Xion. I know we will.
This is great. The taste and aroma will blow everyone away. Alone. I'm all alone. Let's go. We don't want to keep Xion waiting. I always hear you muttering to yourself whenever we're in battle. So, uh, just what are you saying? Why do you want to know? Does it bother you or something? Not really. It's just the way you talk is sometimes kind of creepy. So I was wondering if you vent your frustration through your magic. Are you yelling, you stupid jerk, or something like that to pump yourself up? What? No, that's not what's happening during my incantations. I'm just focused, so I match my tone to fit the mood of whatever I'm trying to invoke. Invoke? Uh, how do I put it? Basically, the elemental astral energy behind each art, I guess. Astral energy? Hold on, are you saying you can talk to astral energy? Uh, not exactly. But if I put emotion into what I say, it's easier for me to properly cast my arts. That makes sense? Kind of. Okay, so if you can talk to astral energy, then you can ask it to, like, predict the weather or find secret treasure? Wait. You don't really think that, do you? Or you can ask it to send down lightning to where there's bad guys lurking and... May lightning condemn those who bear foes! Thunderblade! Ah, what are you doing? You almost fried me with that! I just asked the astral energy to send down lightning where there were annoying boys. I don't know what to do. Things can't go on like this. What do you mean? Ah! Oh, it's you, Rinwell. You were talking about me, weren't you? No, I wasn't. I've just been thinking about some things. Really? How unusual. Cut it out. I'm being serious here. Uh, sorry. I was thinking about... You know how I used to work for Ganabel back when I was in Cislodia? Yeah, of course. You were brought in after the Snake Eyes killed your friends, right? I mean, you had to. Right. I used to have nightmares about it when I fell asleep. But lately, that's been happening a lot less. I don't know how to feel about that. That's a good thing, isn't it? You should be happy. Yeah, but... <sighs> I did a lot of terrible things back then. And I'm scared I'm starting to forget what I did. Okay, so let me just get all of this straight. You think you'll forget everything if you stop having those nightmares? Why? Because, you know me, I'm freaking stupid. But it sure doesn't sound to me like you've forgotten. Oh well, yeah, but still. I don't think those nightmares going away means you've forgotten. Maybe it's a sign that you've come to terms with what you did. Come to terms? You mean like Alfin with his past? You think that's what's happening? Yeah, I do. <sighs> You're pretty amazing, Law. I am? Yeah. Not all of us have figured out how to accept our pasts. Least of all, me. Rinwell.
Have you guys checked your equipment lately? This view. Don't get so drawn into it you fall over now. Huh. Ho ho ho. Ho 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 ho. Ho ho! Hmm? You're saying we should check the owl forest? than before. All right, once more from the top. Now where might those fish be? 